Hello! We're live! It's us! I... Uh, oh my goodness. I don't think it's anyone me. can hear anybody. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> don't reveal yourself yet. Oh, Get back in right. there. There we go. People can hear you guys now. Wow, we're it's live! It's me! <laughs> it's Jared! Jared's back! After he went to go to the store to get milk, but this time he and still I'll do it forgot again, the milk. Finally, a father who returns. Uh, Papa. I still forgot the milk, so I'm still I, mad. I didn't forget. I just drank it all. Yeah. I mean, it Why was a long trip. Why did you drink milk on the walk home? I was doing the gallon challenge. It did not go well. Because it was a six-month trip. That's why. Mm. That's fair. Get thirsty. Yeah, he yeah. definitely got thirsty. Hey, I'm the yeah, thirsty one of this group. Calm down. There are four people here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Um, yeah, wow, it's it's Friday night, mm -hmm. which means it's Beacon of Sin. Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday. Good job. Uh, <laughs> which means it's Beacon of Sin. Uh, it's your favorite campaign uh, where we play Masks, the... Uh, teenage superhero based game uh, by Magpie Games. They are awesome. This game is great. Go buy the book right here. Or, oh, book. I have a book. It's got pages. Whoa! Oh, and pictures. I've heard of. And pictures. Uh, there are some. But does more, it have? So... But does it have numbers? Yes, yes, it does. Quite a few of them. Gotcha. So, uh, the yeah. background just looks white, Jerry. What? What happened? The background just looks white. Yeah, what, what, yeah, because of the way I have it zoomed in. What <laughs> a turd. What a turd you are. Well, uh, well uh, James updated the template. And, you know, so I... Oh, yeah, working. Cody. Blame James because he's not I'm here. just saying. They got a little bit of less real estate to work stuff. Let's, let's, let's finish our, like, actual intro stuff, Cody. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Keep... track. But yes, uh, speaking of sin, uh, Jared, Jared's back. Jared is back. He was originally supposed to be in this campaign, but now he's back in it again. We unsauced his boy. We, we right. said in the first episode that we sauced his boy. We unsauced him. Yeah, unsauced him. He has been unsauced. He is now clean and ready to uh, unveil his true self. Uh, hopefully not yet. Um, it's the Chadley right Sauce now. Paradox. Yes. Um, but before that, um, if you noticed, uh, b before we started the stream, there was a lovely little video made by our uh, lovely James, who is not here today because he decided that spending time I with his him. family is better than spending time with us. Boo. We're your um, family. That's right. Yeah. Really. We're the only family he needs. Uh, but yes, uh, we uh, were showcasing the wonderful maps from Demille's Wondrous Work. Um, and uh, they are some very spiffy maps. We're talking animated maps. If you like mm -hmm. Foundry, phase battle maps. That's right. Foundry enabled. Get in there with your Pathfinder campaign. And your other tabletop role-playing games uh, are available. But uh, Pathfinder 2E is uh, what I find that uh, is cool. Um, and yeah, uh, they're super detailed. It looks like she puts in a, a lot of work. So uh, go ahead and go on down to her Patreon, patreon.com slash DWW, and check her out. She does have some free stuff uh, that you can see on there, but uh, obviously she's got other tiers. So uh, go on and have a good time. Get some maps, play some games, make some friends, or play it yourself. Mm. It's healthy. No. What? It's healthy to have a good relationship with yourself. You know, you roll some dice, you make a character. It sounds fun. That's not true. Hey, it's it's me, God. Oh. Don't do that. Oh, God doesn't approve of playing with yourself. Well, God, do you <laughs> can, will you at least tell us a story? What? Do you have a story written out for us? Okay, yeah, okay. I guess I can take this off my face now. Okay. It hurts. I can barely swallow on Wednesday. There is no re-roll without pain. I mean, it's true. We're all always sick. What's it? <coughs> yeah, seriously. I mean... That was coincidental. <laughs> My wife went in for a strep test today. She she left with double ear infections. 
What the hell? Sounds like she shouldn't have gone in. Let me guess. She forgot the strip. Yep. Well, <laughs> that's per, to be yeah. seen. That's to be seen. <laughs> uh, but yes. But then it has cool. like rapid strap tests. Every time you go in, it takes them like five minutes to be like, yep, you got strip. Well, yeah. Then they, if you don't have it, they send it a culture and they like play with it for two mm. days. Okay. Yeah. That's not healthy. I also strap. like to play with culture. Ooh. Oh. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Is that why you're eating yogurt. Means. Anyway, I'm go ahead. Yogurt. I'm a woman. I'm having a woman moment. I want yogurt, but it's not the way over there. Woman. <laughs> okay. Starting from episode one, uh, I'm going to do a full recap and then a episode recap for last time. So, following a rampage by formerly respected superhero and leader of the Golden Collective, the Silver Defender, that left many people dead and many more injured, Mayor Ruby Julian, not, not Julian, <laughs> I kept almost writing that. Oh, God. Mayor Ruby Julian joined forces with local billionaire of tech and government Francis Mercury. At a press conference, they announced the introduction of mercurial enforcers, robots made of sleek metal meant to crack down on vigilante activity. In response, teen superheroes Jawbone, Shadow Warden, and Locomotive joined forces to investigate and try to keep the city safe. On their first real night as a group, they ran into twins Freezer Burn and Burnout and participated in a fight where they did some property damage, headbutting, and vomiting. At the end of it, a mercurial enforcer showed up to card off the twins and leave the three of them alone. One of them dropped a phone, which Shadow Warden took and was able to derive information from. Based on this, Jeanette made a call to her friend slash ex, Simon, to have him look into the other names found in the conversation, namely Shift and Shitpost. The next morning at school, Carmen and Jeanette encountered the twins again, and Arwen Hartman III showed up to invite everyone to a career day party at his house. Carmen got into a fight with the Stanhope twins, Jeanette threw up twice and found shitpost, and Arwen made some serious mistakes vis-a-vis -vis Jawbone, but ultimately helped out with drone footage. That night, the three of them convened career day to make a plan for the following night, involving Jawbone getting arrested to see where the Mercurial Enforcers were taking people and what they were doing with them. Having made the plan, Jeanette went home and made some mistakes, while Carmen spoke with an idol of theirs, and Arwen had an encounter with Francis Mercury. Technically, all three of them encountered Francis Mercury, but it's more poetic if I say it that way. The following night, they instituted the plan with some adjustments. Arwen had attached some, of the, some equipment to the Jawbone suit and was following as Shadow Warden. Jawbone was going to do some property damage, and Carmen was on their head, absolutely tiny somehow. During the ensuing chaos, another teen superhero named Pockets showed up, interfered, and ultimately played face to Jawbone's heel. Unfortunately, both of them were arrested. At the top of last episode, both Jawbone, Pockets, and a very secret Carmen were taken to an offshore underground prison that Shadow Warden managed to break into. A fight ensued between the nearby guards and the teens, during which Jawbone was largely useless, Loco got a gun put to their head, and Shadow Warden ripped the man's probably prosthetic hand off. At the end of it, Pockets managed to open a portal, and the other three went through, but not before she was cut off at the other end. Carmen went back to save her by replicating her powers without telling anyone, and the two of them were subsequently arrested by guards and taken further to the prison by Francis Mercury himself. While in a power dampening cell, Carmen and Pockets learned that Francis Mercury was not only collecting information on the identities of superpowered individuals, but was also using them for his own nefarious ends. After he threatened Pockets' younger sister and revealed her to be Jennifer Wheatley and Carmen to be Carmen Knight, she agreed to do a job for him. In the meantime, Arwen and Jeanette headed back to the mainland to regroup. On the way there, Jeanette decided she wanted to begin and post an expose on the prison using footage from their suit and one of Arwen's contacts. They also agreed to regroup in the morning and head back to the prison, mostly to look for Carmen. While Arwen went back to his estate, Jeanette went to see Norman Knight and tell him what was happening with his child. By the end of the night, there was a video leaked to the news of Shadow Warding ripping that, ripping that man's hand off. <laughs> I, I stumbled over that, sorry. At the end of it, Jeanette made plans to post a Twitter on their dad's account, and that's the situation we left it in. Carmen and Pockets in mega jail, Arwen isolating himself, and Jeanette pulling up Twitter outside the night's house. That's that's right. That's right. Hey. Uh, a lot happened. A lot has happened. Uh, a lot has gone down. Yeah, it's true. Uh, mm -hmm. it, ha it has. Um, it's and, fine. And, uh, you know, you, you made it sound a lot smoother uh, <laughs> than yeah. it was. No, well, uh, Arby's that's good what at I that. do. 
and so that's uh, yeah. break down the fifth. So you you a, take uh, you take what I do and then make it into a cohesive story. <laughs> <laughs> or do I? Ooh. Um. But yes, it would be really funny if I were like editing things to suit my own ends, right? Yeah, like, just, I just and like I wouldn't notice things. because I don't know anything. Exactly, it's yeah. subtly changing the lore in the intro. Uh, I would just, thing. I would just inherently trust you. <laughs> on the one hand, I noticed something, but on the other hand, no, I did not. <laughs> so um, we're good. And but then yeah, Jawbone uh, killed all the baddies. Jawbone would never. So yeah, only Jawbone if they're the rec- currently. Uh, checking out. Them. Excuse me, excuse me, Jeanette. Jeanette, sorry, two different people, obviously. Two different people. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, Jeanette is currently at the night household. Mm-hmm. Um, she went outside. Watching, watching Fox News. No, she went outside. Tucker Carlson is on TV right now. In this world, he didn't get fired. It's also still February. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's still February. Um, but no, um, yes. you're seeing the news of Shadow Warden uh, ripping that dude's hand off. Uh, and That's uh, aesthetic. That's right. Um, and uh, the... You know, they, they cut back to the, to the news anchors and uh, they... They're talking, and they have Francis Mercury on a on a live feed, um, and he sucks. and he gets on on the old on the old uh, news. Uh, mm-hmm. He looks, uh, and he looks like out of he looks out of sorts, but like you can just tell that it's like manufactured. Oh, it's not the out of sorts of a man who was just yelled at by two teenagers. Yeah, uh, he. He's sitting at a desk and he's like, "Oh, thank you so much for having me on here. Um, I, I I know that footage was hard to watch. It was hard for me to watch. Um, uh, you know, uh, thankfully the the uh, employee of mine survived. He's getting medical attention, uh, and um, you know we'll keep him in our thoughts and our prayers. Um, but yes, uh, we this is this is." This is exactly what I talked about in my speech, that these vigilantes, they they do not respect the rule of law, the way things are meant to happen. Justice is not something that you can dole out yourself. Justice is a process that must be fair. And what these vigilantes are doing is not fair, because the rest of us cannot do what they do. We don't stomp around this city like some sort of demigods and so as tragic as this is this is a perfect example of the chaos and the destabilization that they bring so my mercurial enforcers will be patrolling double time especially looking for these individuals and they put oh, big no. blown up pictures of uh, all of you <laughs> on the screen. Oh, no. <laughs> if you have any information of who these individuals are, I have uh, this uh, speedboat tote bag by the front door that has yeah. <laughs> all of my equipment in it because I don't have my camera bag. Yeah. Uh, then please, uh, the, the number for the police and. Uh, will be scrolling across the screen. Please alert us. These are very dangerous villains. And he's like, thank you. And then oh. it, and then it, you know, goes into like, they're just talking and Norman Knight turns off the television. That's he, not true. You gotta know that's not he true. Turns that's not true. To you. Villains, huh? The only villainous thing I did wasn't to a person. Um, the okay, I have Arwen and uh, Shadow Warden and I have a plan, uh, in that we are going to release the footage, uh, recorded from my suit, uh, through 
the internet. Um, but I'm getting the feeling that I'm going to have to act a little more quickly to get on top of this and spin it correctly. And by which I mean with neutrality, because I don't want it to seem like I'm biased. Um, what? I, but I, I can tell you now, I can tell you now, Mr. Nate, what happened was, um, this is going to be a little hard to hear. Um, obviously, I got arrested. I told you that. That was on purpose. It yes. was for property damage, which is harmless. I messed up a road. Who cares? It was out in suburbia. Who who cares? Um. Anyway, uh, so I got arrested through Carmen. The fight happened. Shadow Warden leaped off the ceiling. We, but we we were also like actively being attacked by the guards, and one of the guards held a gun to Carmen's head, and. Just like, but obviously Francis Mercury isn't going to show that. He's going to show what makes us look like we were in the wrong he, instead of he it puts being his hands up to stop. He's and... like, he's like, Jeanette, I, I understand that you're not an actual villain. I don't think that you did any of these things. I've known you for how long now? I'm just six years. Yeah, and you know if any. If, if Carmen trusts anybody as much as they trust you, then I trust you. Yes, but, um... but the main thing here is that we need to get Carmen. Yeah, so that, that was the thing. That we, we, a part of our plan was that I was going to go over to um, Shadow Warden's friend's house in the morning. And <clears throat> um, after school uh the plan was for me just to do my thing and then them to be like yeah go home you're not supposed to be here so um we, we were going to meet there put up the video and then uh head back to the island a little more prepared but i i don't know what to do i think the we're just gonna have to put it up now and then go tonight okay well you know i, I this is this look this isn't like, my we can't just leave him there we don't know what they're doing there um, we don't know what they're doing to to, to carmen and to pockets carmen's and, mother and to anybody forward else. she she's like look this is this is my world. I I understand what you're going through. And it's through. not mine? Well, that's what I'm saying. I understand what you're going through. You, we've, we've been there. I, I've been there. I know what it's like. And I know... And you're right. Uh, you, you're going to need to to work on spinning this positively. Uh, uh, this, this Francis Mercury is... He's good. He's not good. Well, no, he's not good, but he's good. These are the oldest media tricks in the book. Yeah, he knows how to spin it. I've I've seen him. Now every spin has to stop. That's how friction works. Not this spin, baby. Ooh. Sorry. Don't try to be cool. Yeah, she's got a, she's got fidget spinners going. Um. Um, she's just like, I'm look, gonna, I, I, I'm, gonna have I'm here to help you. Changed. I smell like a sewer. You, you do smell like a sewer. Well, what's because I came here in the sewer. Everybody knows. Jeff One knows second, the sewer. child Bye. stuff. Oh, have fun, Jeff. Bye. Hello, audience. This is my show now. Carmen's going to take a power. <laughs> yeah, Carmen's just doing the whole jailhouse rock thing right now. It's fine. Oh, yeah, I love that visual. Yeah. Just imagine Carmen where Elvis is in that gif, and <laughs> that's it. Ah, go to bed and get up my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> go on, get. Oh, yeah, I did not mute for that. You saw me being a... Good night, buddy. I loved that one. 
I saw uh, Elvis impersonator do a recreation once. It was a lot of fun. Jahasra. It's fun. It's me, I'm back. Mm, I was just talking about Elvis again. I heard. Peekaboo. So. Uh... I'm, gonna, um, I'm gonna head outside. Uh huh. And head home, get changed really quickly, and then head over to where I was supposed to meet Shadow Warden. Um, that's my plan. Um, bye. Hmm. I have my dad's you... Twitter account. I'll be fine. Do you not want my help? You? The vigil? Yes. No. You Listen. You could step up and help your kid, and that would be great. And we, we would really actually appreciate your help. But I'm not going to pretend to like you or to be your friend. She kind of... I understand. But this is my family we're talking about. And my child is in the clutches of some... Asshole. Hmm. Strong words for such a pure figure. Okay, no. Bye. She. She's like, wait, one. At least take my number. And put it where? When you, don't you have a phone? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I already have all my numbers pre saved. I have Carmen, I have Norman, I have uh, Simon, I have. You can't my put mom, my number Atlas, in there? Yeah. Nope, full up. <laughs> full up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She she just grabs your phone and puts your number in it. <laughs> that's not consensual. Yeah, that's mm. not... I'm, I'm writing a Twitter call out right now. Goodbye. <laughs> and, um... We're going to, while you, while Jeanette goes doing whatever outside Jeanette's. And, Jeanette goes outside and realizes she doesn't have her bicycle and actually can't get home. Yeah. And she can't get a hold of Shadow Warden. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, but we're going to cut over to old Carmen. Uh-oh. Carmen. Stop being Elvis for a second. Okay. <laughs> Um, you, Carmen, are in this cell with Pockets. Mm -hmm. Um, Pockets is pacing. She's, she's distraught. She's like, no, no offense, Carmen, but uh, maybe, maybe I stepped in it too hard this time. Yeah, I. Me too. I just. God, I. What's there? Is there something I can do? But. He's got us by the balls. Yeah. Big time. And she's like. This is not how it's supposed to happen. You know? You. you... You you th you you think of yourself as this big hero. Wow, I could open pocket dimensions. I'll call myself Pockets. That'll be fucking fun, yeah. won't it? Yeah, I mean, I understand. I mean, I I trip in the school hallway and leave a Carmen-sized imprint. Yet I couldn't break through the fucking wall. Like, <sighs> look. It That's, just makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. This is... Why couldn't the Collective keep their fucking noses clean? Literally. <laughs> yeah, that is... Uh... Each and every that one of those assholes. Yep. Some, some more than others, but yeah, I... I feel you. <sighs> well, look, at this... Look, uh, at this point, there's nothing we can do except see what he wants. I can't imagine 
Well, I don't want to imagine what he wants to use my powers for. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't seem good. But... No, I mean I'm. I just make portals. I just I just open up little holes in in space. I mean I don't know. I don't know what I do. I just do it. Do you know what you do? I mean I have an idea. I have. I know I can. I mean I'm strong. Yeah. I'm fast. I can do a bunch of mental shit, but. But like. And here I thought there's. Here I thought if I put my mind to it, there was nothing I couldn't do. And yet, here I am. Stuck in prison because I couldn't do the most simple thing that I do. Hmm. Gosh. It's. It's just fucked up, man. It's just fucked up. I'm sorry. I, I feel like I fucked everything up with you and your friend. What's her name? Uh, my friend, uh, Jawbone. Hey. Oh, um, Jawbone. Oh, Jawbone. I feel like I've heard yeah. her name. Again, they. Oh, oh, Jawbone's oh. they. Excuse me. We had this entire yeah, yeah, conversation they. last time. Pretend, Carmen did that because I wasn't paying attention. Mm. Like, excuse me. I'm just, uh, um, wow. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm like, after a, like a few more minutes, you, the door opens. And, um, uh, Francis Mercury and uh, another guard is... Uh, standing there, and well, and the guard has these restraints, and Francis is like, "Okay, you two. Oh, is it recreation time already? Yes, you get your one hour a day in the sunshine. Now, he he tosses these to you guys. Put these on, and everyone will get along, and maybe we'll have time for Scrabble later. Uh." Or, yeah. I don't know. I feel in a, in a very murdery mood. I can just go on your Facebook and pick a family member. That'd be fun. You please pick uh, my Uncle Rodney. <laughs> uh, okay, well, Pockets. Pockets yeah. Pockets puts them on. I think Carmen hesitates, but they put them on and they're kind of like, sort of smiling. Like, chuckling, even. <laughs> Look. I'm... I'll be honest with you. I... I honestly don't want to kill anybody. I don't derive pleasure out of it. I just find it's a very useful tool to get people to do what I need them to do. It's a, it's a real good motivator, you know? Um, you know, and I especially don't like, you know, uh, causing pain to children such as yourselves. Um, so let's, let's all play nice and, you know. We can all uh, we can all go home at the end of the night and sleep in our beds, or you know watch Game of Thrones or whatever the hell you kids do. But I and he, he's turning to to Carmen. I could use someone like you. That's you know not in the same way as I can use our friend Jennifer here, but you. You, you got some power. I've seen what you can do. Yeah. Well, you know what you can do? Now, now, watch that tongue. But for real, I can, look, I can 
bring you into this fold. I can make you a hero in this city. A real hero. <sighs> you know? Unlike other heroes you might know. You know what? I will say that the other hero you mentioned may be the, at the bottom of my list, but the good news is they're one step above you. Hmm. Well, maybe this one, but some of them, not so much. Ah, boy, do I got stories about the Silver Defender. That boy could do a lot of bad. But that's neither here nor there. So, oh, um, and we're going to quickly cut away to Chadley. Chadley, you are being brought in. Uh, well, you've been, you've been, you, you've been in, you've even talked to Francis Mercury. He, he seems, he seems pretty unimpressed with you. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, obviously he doesn't know all that much, but he, he's not, he's, so he's basically, uh, holding you into to to be processed through the actual program that the government and him set up with the enforcers uh, now the mercurial enforcers that brought you here these nine foot tall sleek uh, m m uh robots that are made of some strange matte black metal with purple undertones uh, they brought you here they picked you up um confused the fuck out of you yeah, absolutely. Now, where were you when they picked you up? Um, I was on my way, uh, trying to make my way back into the city. Um, I had been less than ceremoniously removed, mm. and was was trying to make my way back. It was it was a whole ordeal. It was, but now you find yourself back in the city. Uh, a city that is far different than the one you know. Very much so. Very confused. Now, do you want to tell us a little bit about Chadley? The 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 um the stuff that you're willing to share with the class. Yeah. So, Chadley is just your friendly neighborhood lacrosse instructor. He he teaches elementary school lacrosse. Um, he is of the innocent playbook, which means that Chadley is not from this time period. Chadley has actually gone into the future. Oh, how far? Um, did you say 21 years? 21 years. Is that years. what you said? 21 years. Mm-hmm into the future he's really confused why nobody uses AOL instant messenger anymore yeah ever and like everyone is using what you assume are I mean you you know they're like they have these phones they, they're like everyone's got the computers in their fucking hands yeah I mean there were some people in school the rich people in school they had uh, they had phones but Chadley does not have a phone. Yeah, nothing like nothing like these. Oh, especially not like these. That's right. Chadley's from the year two thousand and two. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. That's my year. That's right. Um, yeah, Chadley, Chadley was actually there. Chadley was there in yeah. Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's the reason he was out. Yeah, it was actually birth. he was he was there, and the uh, the birth caused such a commotion that <laughs> wormhole went nice to try. the future. It's February. I wasn't born until August. <laughs> mm. 
Um, well, I mean, 20, 21 ish years, you know. So, Charlie's in the future. Well, his future, our present. His future, yes. And so, what's Charlie's? What is Charlie trying to do? Uh, without obviously spoiling too much. Trying to find himself so that he can find people to help get him back. So he wants to go back to 2002. Yeah, ultimately. Yeah, that's I can tell point. you I don't want to go back to 2002. <laughs> Maybe he'll, he'll stick around, but we'll see. We'll see. And how old is Chadley? Um, yeah, he's about 17. Okay. So, Chadley, you are in a little room. Uh, you're in a room similar to what Jeanette and... Uh, not Jeanette, but Carmen and uh, Pockets or Jennifer are, are in. Uh, your powers that you have that you can... No, you had? Yeah, not until recently. Uh, and you find you can't access them, but that's okay. Whatever. And um, just a lone guard comes in. He, um, it's, he's got these restraints similar to the one that uh, Carmen and Pockets have. Mm. I don't... I'm eating a Twix bar, right? Mm. And I just bit into like a, a salt granule and I don't know why. It's like Is a it cookie... Is caramel Twix? No, it's the cookie dough. Mm. I don't know why I'm, it's salty. I love salt. I don't like salt very much. Um... But I was just very confused. Like, this isn't cookie! Um, but yes. Uh, the guard is like, alright. Uh, it's time for you to go. Put these on. And then we'll, we're gonna go wait for... Uh, this, the social worker to come pick you up. Because apparently you don't have any, uh, relatives in town. Uh, where are we going? I don't know where you're going. I just work here. I don't know. Oh. You're, you're probably you're probably going to I don't know some sort of freak juvenile hall or something. What What is that? Do you know why I'm in here? Yeah, I'm very confused right now. Where have you been? Um. Well, I was out of the city trying to make my way back into the city. Yeah. And then when I came back, I was picked up by these robots and brought here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yep, all standard uh, pr processing. Uh, you, what, I mean, you're obviously one of these super powered people. Um, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Listen, kid, I don't make the rules. I don't. I just, I'm. I'm just trying to make money, okay? Now, put these damn handcuffs on and come um, with me. Okay, sure, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, uh, he's like, uh, he just starts talking to you as he's, like, taking you. Uh, he's like, listen. I got, I'm just ready to go home. So just don't, just don't give me trouble. I mean, I can't do anything to you because, you know, I'll get in trouble. But, like, I I don't know. I just, just don't. I've already had a oh, rough yeah. day. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. No worries see, for me. My, my cousin, my cousin uh, Frank died and, you know, and uh, my oh, that wife. that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. My wife, she's. Uh, hey, I'm, you know. I'm Chadley, by the way. Oh, I, yeah, I'm Rodney. Hey, it's uh, it's nice to meet you, Rodney. Yeah, uh, I mean under well, better we... circumstances and all that, but you seem like a nice enough guy. Yeah, 
it's kind of weird what they're doing uh, here, uh, but you know, Mister Mr. Mr. Mercury sure confused. Yeah, Mister Mercury play, pay, pays pretty well, so. Um, and as gotta feed, you gotta feed your family, I you know listen, and I got I got three kids. There's Henry, there's uh, the, the, there's there's Fred, and then there's Rodney Jr. Um, he's he's uh, he's actually not named after me, which is really weird. I know. Um. Uh. And uh, and they eat a lot. They do. They're you know. Oh, I bet. They're growing uh, kids, you know. Yeah. Um. And how old are he, they? Oh uh, well, Rodney Jr. is fifteen. And he's uh, the young one. Well, and then Hen- and then Henry is fifteen. Um. And um, other twins. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes, that yeah. makes sense. I, I, yep. I bet you thought it was some weird shit, right? Oh, uh, I was. You had me even more confused. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I like. It's a little joke I like to play. Um. Oh, and um, <laughs> what did I say? My third one was. <laughs> Hank. No. Hank. No. You said Henry. I, I said Henry. Uh, so, uh, Fred. Frim. Fred. Yeah, Fred's also 15. No, Fred's adopted. Oh. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Could have been triplets. No, uh... Yeah, I had to be thinking. I know. I was going to ask, but... Yeah, Fred's Fred's Greek and we're Italian, so, you know. It, you... Sure. You, yeah. All right. Um, and... Oh, he's like, oh, hold on. There's some... Something going on up here. They, they said, so uh, they, said they said their kids up here. There's other prisoners, and these and these guys are like they're mean fucking. They're they're mean fuckers. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. They're real. They're I hope real they're bad not guy. being mean to the guards. Well, he's like, um, he's like, listen, earlier, I I kid you not, a werewolf was here. No, those don't exist. No, they they. they I well, I saw it. Were, look, I, he, he pulls out his phone, and you see a picture. He's like, I got a picture of it right here. And you see a picture of Shadow Warden, um, ripping off this dude's hand. Like right there. See, look, is, he's biting his fucking hand off. Is he is he wearing shorts? Yes. Well, he's got some pretty cool shorts on. Yeah. Looks like he got him at Old Navy. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know why. Of course you do. That'd be weird if you didn't. Um, uh, and yeah, so... And then... What, these guys were with them. They were doing all sorts of weird shit. And... I don't know, man. Kind of... Hey, since we're... Since we're whispering secrets... <laughs> yeah. I'm, actu- I'm actually from the past. So He's some like, of this what? stuff. Oh, is... shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you? What are you from? Like fucking, from uh, two two thousand and two. What? Yeah. So like, nine eleven happened last year. Um. <laughs> uh. He he's just like. <laughs> 2002 like i got uh, i yeah, met my like wife. weird this weird like screen pocket screen that you've i i keep getting told it's a phone i've not yeah. seen anybody make a phone call on it so. yeah we don't we don't talk on the phone it's weird okay see i we had pocket phones obviously but they were flip flip phones those were the fancy ones yeah right yeah, or you yeah. could get the so it's like a blue. You could play Snake on it. I don't have one. Oh yeah, I had one. I mean, I met my wife in two thousand and two. Mm. Good year. Well, not really. Oh, what, what was her name? What was her name? Oh, Hildegard. Oh, did she? What? What year did she graduate? Uh, two thousand and three. And what? What school? Well. We've always lived here. Huh. I'll, I'll have to look up Hildegard when I get back. Yeah. Hildegard uh, Hiddleston. 
Okay, okay. I got it. It's her maiden name, yeah. Wait! Um, and... Are you gonna have sex with this man's wife? (laughs) (laughs) All he wants to do is say hi. (laughs) I don't know. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. That's right. Hey, hey, I met your husband. He's like, wait, what's your... Wait, your name's name's Chadley? Yeah, Chadley. Chadley. Wait, aren't you in... Wait, 2002. Aren't you in the lacrosse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the lacrosse team. My little brother was on on your team. Was? Well, he's not. He's old now, but he he was on your team. (laughs) Oh shit! Yeah, Stanley, Stan- uh, Stanley, um, Frankfurt. Absolutely. Oh, he's great. I love him. I love him. I'll tell oh, him no you said hi. Wait, you tell him I said hi. Oh, he's dead. <gasps> yeah, he was. Yeah, he no. he was murdered by his husband. Stop. Oh, they were both really high on meth. That's hor no. Yeah, no. Stanley what was happened? a monster. Oh, not Stan. I'll have to see if I can fix that when I get back. I don't know. I'm, no, I'm just kidding. He's alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nah, he had me going. Married. He got married last weekend. We went to Vegas. Oh, that's amazing. Well, tell him I said congratulations. I will. He's he's not gonna believe this. And like as you guys are talking. Pockets and Jeanette, oh not Jeanette, but Carmen are coming out of the uh, room in uh, uh, shackles. Um, I want you to give me a uh, a roll here. Um, let me just get my moves up. Just make sure I want to do this right. Uh, Chad, your first roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want you to assess the situation. Sure. I can do yeah. that, maybe. Mm, you can. You can roll a superior, please. I Ooh. Look, I could shoot the shit with you with Rodney all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> Superior's the rest my, of the my good one. <laughs> okay. Hey. Um, so, you... Uh... What you see before you is, um, well, first things first, Lizzie, describe Carmen for Jared. Carmen is, what did I say, roughly six feet, very muscular. Oh, six foot one. Because you're not six feet. Yeah, six foot one. Six foot one, two. Very, uh, very muscular, athletic, very thick, built like a, uh, like a freight train. And they're currently in their, uh, locomotive get up which is basically a tank top shorts metal plate uh, metal chest plate helmet metal gauntlets metal boots and there's a black train silhouette painted on the chest of it yeah and mm-hmm. Carmen is probably being a smart ass still like oh hey are we uh are we gonna go piss in one of them troughs now or what cause I kinda gotta go man just <laughs> being a you know, just being a dick, because yeah. So I didn't uh, give Chadley a height. I decided to look up average height of a lacrosse player, and the result I got back is six feet and three quarters inches. Wow! Oh, so, oh, so close. Right between. That's a very um, <laughs> specific, yeah. A, a very <laughs> precise set of stairs. <laughs> right. <laughs> like. Do- and then Arwen. Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah. It's <laughs> um, like a stuck graph. Yeah. And you see, <laughs> now did I did I describe pockets at, at height at all? I don't think so. No. Okay, because Mr. Uh, cargo pants. Yeah. Car- yeah po- just pockets the outfit. Is, yeah, pockets is wearing. Oh, did, did you uh, spend pockets. like ten minutes talking about cargo pants again? Yes. <laughs> You know, that was the only <laughs> description he gave was the pockets and the yeah. cargo so, pants. So pockets, uh, Jennifer Wheatley. Uh, Shh, don't say it out loud. Oh my god, I put it out there in the ether. Um, well, it's now fun. they know. They know. Uh, she <laughs> is. 
uh, her she, she doesn't necessarily have like a like a like a, 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 a particular look or suit. She's just wearing like a a tank top, um, and these baggy okay. cargo pants that she's sewn on a whole bunch of other pockets. So ninety skater, mm-hmm. but with more um, pockets. Yeah. If you if you remember a from the nineties, all that. Um, uh, guys, Sag and Bag and Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like that. Uh-oh. Well, uh-oh, what? I have to look that up now. Uh, Sag and Bag and Barry. Oh, it is. I'm going to refresh it's, my it's memory. It's so stupid. Don't worry about it. It's so dumb. I'm not going to watch anything. The, the bagginess of that. Pictures, like, yeah. In fact, I'm, I'm going to give her the overalls, too. <laughs> the overalls? Yes. Um, wearing the yeah, overalls? I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. I love it. Cargo pant overalls? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm well, here for Well, now she looks it. more gay. Thanks, Carter. Carmen's yeah. even more in love now, so and thank you. And she's wearing really, you know, really stompy boots. Who isn't at this point? Yeah, Jeanette. everyone in this, everyone's gay here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Carmen's just gay for everybody. Isn't yeah, true? um... You know, and, and, and Pockets is not tall uh, like everyone else. Um, Pockets is only like five foot six. Um, no, yeah, she's just as tall as Arby. She's Arby. I must protect the little one. Um, I'm actually five foot five and a half. I say I'm five foot six for social reasons. Yeah, she's got like yeah. like shaved on the side, uh, um, but you know, long. Everywhere it else, kind of like make, uh, you're is it her is hair. it dyed pink too? No, purple. No, she doesn't dye her hair. It's it's, oh. it's her natural strawberry blonde. Ooh, uh, she's irresistible she's... to all women. Yeah, and Carmen, yeah. and That's Carmen. Right. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, you know she and she she's not she doesn't seem as feisty as Carmen at this point. Oh, hey, I didn't get my one phone call. What the fuck gives? Uh, and then you also see uh, an adult man. Uh, a, an alarmingly handsome man, right? Probably uh, sick of karma shit. Um, he's very, very well dressed. Um, he's, he's like, very well put together. He, he's no longer carefully uh, manufactured to be out of sorts his hair is done he's his ties straightened um he's gay. he's not gay he doesn't he's anti-gay gay anti-gay mm-hmm. yeah, he's he's... Like he misgendered job on this episode that's right um oh. and he's um yeah uh he, he's he's tall he, he's actually like about six foot three um and uh yeah he 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 looks to you as you come out, and he looks to the guard, um, and he just kind of like shakes his head, under his breath. What a what a waste. Uh, and um, but one thing you also do notice is that your restraints aren't fully clicked in. All right. Uh, do with that as you will. Looks like this guard didn't give its full attention. Seems like he, he doesn't really give a shit. Doesn't see you as a threat. As there are, uh, I'm. Are we like walking in opposite directions? Yeah. Um. And Chadley, Chadley will make eye contact with literally everyone like in line as they come by, mm-hmm. and like big smile and like waves. Hi. I'm just going to um, wink at him. Uh, a little. And also, on this assess the situation roll, Jared, you get to ask a question from this list. Do you have the basic moves? Huh? No. Let me give them to you. Are they in the? Are they pinned? I don't think so. I don't think I ever sent them. No. I, I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. I had them at it. one point. They might be saved on my computer somewhere. Mm. I just sent it to you, Jared. Oh, I'll thanks. send it to the RF chat as well. If yeah. I have to. 
All right, I get to. What did I do? I did a. That's the situation. That's the situation. Ass is the situation. Ass is the situation. Ass is. <laughs> Ass is. I have I'm to go. <laughs> no. Carmen does, but that's not the Cut point. Cut my camera. Goodbye. Uh, who Don't do that. Vulnerable to me. Um. Well, uh, it's most vulnerable to you, the guard. My my friend, the guard. Yeah, your friend, the guard. Uh, you feel like you. I mean, I. If you want to try to make some sort of move. Uh, you could probably, uh, I don't know, manipulate the guard or, or, I mean, use the fact that your restraints aren't fully on to your advantage. What but, did, what'd you call him? Robert? Freddie Mercury? What's his name? Oh, Francis, Francis. Mercury. Um, <laughs> what did he do when I made eye contact and smiled? Was it just his, his uh, whatever? Yeah, he just. That's he just, all he did? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to whisper in Rodney's ear and be like, hey, I just need what? to talk to him real quick. I'll meet up with you in a second. What, what the boss? Yeah, yeah. No. He told me he, he, told me he would answer my questions. What? Um. Oh, you can't. He wanted. He wanted to ask me about my powers. Oh, it, your powers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big secret. Uh, uh, well, hey, uh, don't, don't make me talk to this guy. Come on, he scares the shit out of me. No, no, no. You, you keep going. I'll catch up to you. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, I, I, yeah. I think he, he just looks at you and he's just like, huh, um. Hey, don't uh, forget to tell your brother. No, wait, I'll see you. Don't worry. Um, if that sounds like you want to provoke someone in this situation, it's kind of, you want them to do what you want. I, I, sure. Yeah. Uh, provoke. Ah, superior again. Yuck. E. Oh well, let's go. Let's do it. That's uh, a miss. Oh. Uh, I think you get a. You know. Your first potential. That's right. Mark a potential. Um, there's nothing necessarily on a miss, so he's just like, I, I, buddy, I, I can't do that. I can't, these are like, I can't just walk away. Look, I, uh, look, uh, and he's busy with these two. Well, I didn't want to do this, but. What? Hey, I do I get the, an orange uh, suit later? I take the, the cuffs off and I put them on him. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, we're gonna directly engage a threat here. So, uh, you know, this is, this is gonna be danger. Okay. Um, cool. Pal. So on a seven to nine, you get to pick one of these. All right. Um, I guess I'm I'm trying to surprise them all. Yeah, this is, this is he, and he's like what? Ooh. Um, and he's just like he's like what the hell? Um, and he's like trying to go for. Sorry, like, I tried. Um, and uh, he he starts like uh he's like starts going to like grab for his walkie. No, no. You're, you're cuffed. You can't do that. Slap. Come on! Like, 
Get, get these off of me! I s slap his walkie to the ground and I smash it with my foot. Ooh. Oh, okay. Or, uh, or I just turn it off and throw it away. I don't want to smash it. Very gently slide her to the side. Um, it's like go put it on the shelf. Uh, he's just like he's just like God damn it, and he put just starts yelling. And you see Francis <laughs> and, and, and you guys. Uh, well, not you, but uh, uh, Carmen. You see this this guard cuffed and this guy that you saw you winked at uh, is now like uh, free and Francis Mercury is like turning to this and he's like what the hell free uh, so before we move to this next part when things start to get interesting we're going to switch back to Jeanette okay Jeanette Jeanette time is trying to be so incredibly normal what are you? Um, okay. What are we doing now? Steps outside of the night residence, um, realizes, "Hey, I don't have my bicycle. I left it at the safe house that we met at earlier. So I'm kind of stranded here. Uh, Arwen's not picking up the phone. I don't want to go inside and ask uh, Norman and Desert for a ride because I just yelled at her a little bit and." Mm -hmm. Also panicked at normal Norman a lot, which makes things really awkward. Um, and so I have like two options here, and I don't want to exploit Simon too much. And I just I, I just need a ride across town to to Arvin's house, right? So that I can type this up. Um, I know that he has clothes in my size because this guy's a weirdo and he had them on his speedboat for some reason. Mm -hmm. So I can just I can just change there. I can get this typed up. We can set it loose. That's her plan: is to to call her mom and uh, ask for a ride across town. Whether or not that's how it goes down is probably not going to happen. It's, pro it's um, probably not. Things don't go right for Jeanette. We know that. But she's going to call her mom. Is my point here? Okay, you call your mom. Yep. Um. Good old uh, Rhiannon. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, well, well, what's up? Uh, hey, mom. Are you home? For oh time? no, I'm. I'm not. I'm sorry. You know. I, I... Okay. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> no, she, <laughs> she hangs up. <laughs> yeah, she hangs up and she calls Simon. All right, Simon. It, ring picks up. Uh, uh, he picks up after a minute. He's, uh, Jeanette, w w what's up? Are you home, for chance? Uh, yeah? Why? Could you, um, could you get me a ride across town? I, where, no, I'm where asking are you, but I have, um, I'm at Carmen's house. Carmen Knight? Yeah. Oh, never mind, I, I, yeah, I just live right down the road. Yeah. I know I've been asking a lot of you lately, but I have... Stuff I could say, if that sweetens the pot. What, what, I mean, unless you're gonna give, tell me who Jawbone is. Again, not gonna do that. Okay, well. Why can't you just be Jawbone? That would make it easy. Would it? Jawbone's the entire reason we broke up. Well, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's the entire what do you, you what do you, you know um uh i'll see i'll see i'll see you um i'll see you in a yep. few minutes yep i'll see ya uh, i suppose he hangs up sorry I and then after okay good <laughs> she's about to say that she smells like a syrup but he hung up first it's good yeah and after a, a few minutes he pulls up and in in his um uh what would Simon drive? Just a, a shitty Prius. Yeah, I, I was thinking Prius too. Yeah, like a point. 2008 Prius. Ooh. Good year. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm he, not quite familiar with this car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he pulls up and he's like, oh, uh, yeah. 
Um, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, you right you look like shit. Like actual yeah, shit. I feel like shit. Uh, yeah. I'm not covered in it. I still have you been bricks, treated but... like shit. So yes, I, was Simon, I do. I do want to live biscuit break stuff. I do want to go hook okay. into grandma okay. mode. Okay. I know. Yeah. That's that's reference for me and Shine only. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she um, doesn't even watch this. She should. She should. She doesn't. I ramble to her about Jeanette all the time. It's perfect. Uh, okay. Um. Probably best to leave the windows rolled down. Yeah, I, I'm thinking so. Um, Jeanette ties the bag closed tighter, um, and gets in. Okay. Okay. Uh, room, room, room. Uh, you guys. Yeah. Try so, and... you know, our Win Hartman the Third, correct? What that weird teenage billionaire? We were at his house yesterday. Yes. Yeah, I know. I know who he is. Oh. Yeah. Um, but you're not. You, wait, you're not. You're not like. How big a slut do you think I am? I'm not saying you're a slut. I'm just. I don't know. I don't know anything. No, I, I'm working on a project with him. I just. I just need to get there. Okay. Uh, cool. Cool. Positions the bag between her legs and the door. Mm -hmm. Um, are you gonna... Why were you at the knight's house? Um, I had to let, um, Mr. Knight know about something. Why, why would you need to talk to him? Because he's our editor. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. He's my best friend's dad. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's true. It's true. A lot of connections. Yeah. Hey, hey, um... You know, uh, you know, when I, when, when I was, um, we were talking earlier about how, you know, job owner was the reason that, you know, we broke up. Well, that's, you know, but you, you weren't, you weren't supposed to, you weren't supposed to, you weren't supposed to know. No, but nobody knows. I never even said, said it. So no, nobody knows. So you weren't, I don't know how, you know. Well, but. listen. Um, who, I mean, uh, why wasn't I supposed to know? There are, uh, a lot of things about myself that I don't ever want to admit, because admitting it makes it real, and that means that I can't do the things that other people can and should be able to do, and if, if I say it, and I, then I can't pretend it anymore. What are we talking about here? Look, I was just going to say that I I think we I don't think we would have lasted anyway cuz I've come yeah, to Yeah, like, I mean, I was I kind uh, of let you break it off because I didn't want to break your heart in that way. So. Oh, I'm Look, I just want to say I'm I'm grateful that you did that cuz I I was going to break was... it with you. Oh, thank God. Yeah, um, cause I'm I'm gay, by the way. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, God. yeah, no, thank God. Um, is that cool? I'm not. That's cool. Yes. You're not. Yes. You're not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm no. not. And I'm uh. No, uh, I can't say that. Look, you're you got you got a lot of weird shit going on, Jeanette. Uh, okay? I'm. I don't like guys or girls. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know. None of my business. Werewolves. Um, Who's in a <laughs> Who's in a he, he crashes the car and kills you both. <laughs> it's actually just like the text notification sound for uh, her brother. Werewolves. Yeah, just this, the word werewolves. <laughs> Horrible timing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I yeah, and he pulls up. He's like, "Yeah, we're we're here." Um, yeah. look, I I don't yeah. know what what you got going on. I don't, I don't know. 
but like are you in some trouble any kind of trouble oh yeah the state of journalism so actually i can tell you this before we head inside you know the um the footage that was on the news tonight yeah i saw that shadow word first of all that was best thesis second that's not the entire context of what happened oh i am it's what we're working on is releasing the full context what um, actually you... i think i don't want to walk up to his front door and knock on it that seems weird well, um, i mean what what were you gonna do climbing through a window no i'm just gonna try to call him again was he not picking up no you're not picking up Oh, um... he, he's he's a he's a billionaire. He's busy. Oh Mama me, I'm not Italian. Yeah, no. Uh... That's a lot of money to count. That is a it lot is. of money he, to count. It is. He's probably Scrooge McDuck, and he has his phone off. It's fine. I'll just call him <laughs> one more time, and then um, if it doesn't go through, I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, don't do that. But look, it... I'll die in your car, and then you have to dispose of me. Uh... I mean, okay. I don't wanna. Don't die in my car. Um, what? Okay, well, um, listen. What? Uh, yeah, so if you need anything, let me know, but I guess good luck doing whatever it is. Would you wait um, for, for a minute just in case he doesn't pick up? Yeah, okay. Sure. And yeah, so you get out of his car. I'm sorry. And no, don't, don't, don't be. And uh, I think you... in that moment, Jenna actually does forget to grab the bag out of the front seat. Uh, but yeah, Armin doesn't pick up. Oh, oh no. And she's gonna try it again and again. Not gonna go through. I know it's not gonna go through. Um, what? Yeah, because James isn't here. James isn't here. Our plan can't go through. Okay, well, this is this is good. This is great. I will post it to Twitter. Uh -huh. I'm saying that outside the car. Nobody can hear me. Okay. Uh, an old man. What's Twitter? You know what Twitter is, old man. Ah, that's right. It pulls off his mask. It's me, Elon Musk. He's Sadly. real too? Uh. What's Twitter? <laughs> Uh, no, um, I, don't, I don't know. Is this, it's probably like, I don't know, fucking um, okay. quacker. Who? Quacker or 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 honker? Yeah, it's honker. <laughs> oh, no. From Sesame Street? No, it's honker. It, it, it's the logo is a goose. Okay. Oh, the site. Wait, yeah, you got you. <laughs> you you got yeah. It's, you don't tweet. You honk. Okay, well, I'll honk. <laughs> I actually did write out what I wanted to post. Okay, so you're going to honk? Yeah, I'm going to honk. Okay. Don't honk. Uh, and in this, you get a 200 character limit. That's that's the... that's the. Cool, well, I have 755 words. So we'll see how that splits up. It's yeah. a thread. That's right. So you post your thing. I post my thing. Uh, yeah, and uh, we'll deal with that. Uh, later. I'm like, I, I go home. Go There's home. nothing more to do, so I go home. My plan is shower, let my oldest brother know that I might not be home tomorrow, so the responsibility is going to fall to him. And like, it is the middle of the night, right? It's not, <laughs> not a great time. No. But you have to make sure that he's prepared. Uh, in case I don't come home. Okay. Yeah, and maybe I'll call my mom again. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, and then I have to bury the raccoon. <laughs> oh yeah, the <laughs> raccoon that you had. Yeah, so so I bury the raccoon, I shower, and then I let out the snow that I might not be home tomorrow morning, and then I'm gonna make a really bad decision and suit up and go get myself arrested again. Okay.
Okay. I've, uh, I've obviously honked. I've posted the footage. I did everything I wanted to do. Yeah, so you honked, and now you've suited up. Yeah. And we cut back. Oh, Chandler. and the face paint. Face paint. I added the face paint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll get to that soon. I have to say, because I know you're going to take off my mask. I know you're going to do it. Okay. So, we go back to Chadley and Carmen. Uh, so, what's the scene look like, fellas? Chadley is loose. Everybody's making out. We, Chadley's uh, loose? Made up. <laughs> yeah, Chadley's, Chadley's loose. Chadley's in the year 2023. Just getting down we're gonna slut shame chadley now <laughs> it's true yeah. he gets around he's the town bicycle and that's i'm just right. trying to get to the safe house that's right so uh i'll be quiet now well what's the sitch guys what are we what are we doing chadley what is your goal Free these fellow inmates. And how would you like to do that? Um, I'm going to try and distract Freddie Mercury so that one of them can knock him out. Francis Mercury, thank you All very right. much. Francis <laughs> Mercury. Uh, I know he's a. I know he's Mr. Bad Guy, but come on. Frankie Burntree. Fart oh. Dr. Mercury. Um, so you're trying to directly... He's already you. turning around towards me. Yeah. So I'm just going to continue with that, like... So go ahead and, and directly Hello. engage a threat. All this, all this terrible rolling with these terrible stats. <coughs> oh, um, <clears throat> that's bad. Uh-oh. Mark of potential. Good for you. Yeehaw. Uh, Francis Mercury, uh, he looks to you and he um, he's like, how did you get out? Um, superpowers. Uh-huh. And, he, and he's going to, the guard next to him, he's like, Get this shit out of my oh, sight. Oh, there were other guards? Yeah, well, there's one I right there next to them. there were only three of them. There's, there was the, there's the one you right You said there were only the three of them. Oh, did oh, I? You, me you meanie pants. Oh, what does not matter? I mean, these guards are wieners anyway. Uh, but this guard <laughs> is going to... Uh, he's got this, like, weapon. Uh, and it looks like, you know, it's got little crackles of electricity. Uh, coursing God, through it. And he's going... He's like advancing on Chadley. So, Carmen, is there anything you want to do? Uh, okay, so I noticed the, the ruckus and the failed distraction. The guard has the weapon. I'm going to attempt to bum rush him. I might not... My powers might not be active right now but i'm still a big person so oh, you're directly engaged in the threat Let's that's do it. what i'm shooting for come on where are you oh and i have a thing now so oh, when i directly thing? yeah when i directly engage i can cause significant collateral damage to my environment to choose an additional option even on a miss so oh. if this doesn't go right, I can still do something. Okay. Well, give me that. For better or worse. Beautiful bean footage. Okay. Okay. Go ahead that and pick one. Mix. Yeah. Let me pull up the, uh, or open the book to the list. Directly engage. Okay. So, and since I have the bull in a, uh, in a China shop move, I get two. So... I'm definitely going to resist or avoid the blows. Okay, yeah. And I'm going to take something from them. Oh. Because I'm sure these restraints have like some kind of key or something, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, so they have a little de like a device yeah. that they tap okay, onto it. Okay, that is what I want. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you you like like just absolutely shoulder check this guard. Yeah. And Ooh, thank God. <laughs> and and as you do, you gra- you swipe the little device that you've seen, uh, and it like clips to his belt, and then now you have it. Uh, and the guard like goes to like turn around and like like get you this weapon, but he misses. Um, and pockets is going to well, I have to roll for pockets here. Uh oh, that's right. Um. Uh... Where is uh, well. such a shame? I'm not pockets anymore. I know. <laughs> I need to make pockets a real sheet. Yeah, you should. You should. Mm-hmm. Do you like want me to add her one right now? It. Uh, I will yeah. add her a sheet. Yeah, go ahead. Do that. Um, and yeah, so pockets, pockets is going to do the same thing to Francis Mercury. Just shoulder check him. Uh, even though she's, you see, she hesitated at first, but she's, but she's emboldened by you, and oh. she, she like checks him into the wall. <laughs> nice. Uh, and uh, she's just like quickly. Uh, 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 come on! Oh, awesome hit! Yeah, I, yeah, the thing to get us, yeah, get us free. Yeah. Um, and do you un- unlock her? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then she quickly does the same to you, and you and you immediately feel like this a dampening of your powers, like leave. <laughs> cool. And Francis like. And you see, and all of a sudden, like, alarms start going off. And, like, Francis okay. is, like, holding his shoulder. And Pockets is, like, she grabs Chadley. She's like, I, I don't know who you are, but come on! Well, well okay. And, <laughs> like, uh, Carmen, come on! And she's... I'm she's, Chadley, by the way. Oh, great, good for you! Uh, and she starts running. Come on, Car- Carmen! Yeah, I'm I'm going with. Oh, they're all. While I go, I'm going to uh, roll to charge my burn. Okay. So roll, it's like, roll. yeah. Roll for me. Oh well, no. Well, well that... the the bad news is that sucks. Yeah. Mm. The uh the good news is I get to burn. Bad news is I mark three conditions, so Jesus. I cannot afford to mark any more right now. Uh oh. So you're good for now. So well. yeah, and then we're running. Hi, it's great to meet you all. By the way, <laughs> as you guys are yeah, running. it's it's fine. It's good. Uh, uh, pockets is like it's good. Ah, uh, great, great, great. So so glad. Now just just I don't know where the fuck we're going. This is bad. Fuck. Get your mats on. Uh, what was that? I, I didn't want to go to Jeanette's home. Werewolf. <laughs> Werewolf. Um, <laughs> and uh, you guys are running back to the. Uh, you guys find yourselves like back in that big hangar area where all the enforcers are. And then as you do, coming, being brought into the facility is Jeanette. I didn't get to call my mom? Cody? Oh, well, well, we can can do that if you want to call your mom. I want to call my mom. I want to call my mommy. Call call your mommy. I will. Call Rhea Ripley. (laughs) (laughs) No. I don't want to play anymore. (laughs) <laughs> All <right>. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah, yeah. So before flashback sequence, right? Star White. Okay. Huh? We're in we're in the past. We're in the past. Not two thousand two. Not two thousand two, like twenty Aww. minutes ago. Um <laughs> Jeanette uh sort of sitting halfway out 
her bedroom window uh partially suited up uh takes a moment to uh call her mom okay yeah she picks up oh. fresh raccoon brave in the yard J- jeanette are you okay um, you, you... that's quite the question <laughs> Okay, um, uh, honey, is is everything okay? N- no. Okay, look. Uh, do I need to come home? No, no. I just uh, mom. Uh, I know we we don't talk about this kind of thing. It was always me and dad. Yeah. But um. Everything is kind of falling apart, and I think the only way to get through is to fall apart with it. And Jeanette, what, what are you talking about? Um, I'm going to be fine. I'm doing what what heroes do. Um, Honey, I, I, look, I'm, I'm coming home. You stay there. Don't, don't. I won't be here. She's like, I, I, I'm leaving work. Mom, it's not, it's not gonna be. Don't. Look, it's I, not gonna I, be I'm, I'm, no, I'm coming. I'm coming. Home. Don't you go anywhere. We'll talk about this when I get home. Mom, we're not gonna talk about it. Yeah. We don't talk about anything. Look, Jeanette. We're not gonna talk about it. Jeanette, this, look. Let's just wait till I get home. We're not. Uh, we don't need to do this over the phone. I know you have a lot on your mind, and I look. We'll we'll talk. Just 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 Mom, look. I already gave Atlas instructions on on tomorrow. Had him set his alarm for so that he could get Katie and to the bus. I'm not going to be here when you get home, so it's not worth it to leave. I will try to be back in the morning, but if I'm not, um, look, what, what, she's like, look, just stay there. Nah, I've gotta, gotta do what Dad did and and be the hero, and sometimes that means you, uh, disappear. So. And you, you I hear will... a like car like turn on. Mom. Mom. And she's like, No, I'm coming. No. Uh, I I love you. I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye. Uh, she she's like, Jeanette, don't <laughs> And we come back to the present. <laughs> <laughs> and you you guys see Jeanette get dumped on the ground mm. uh, and this enforcer uh, is like seeing you guys run mm. uh, oh, somebody else we should we should help them finally <laughs> Pockets looks at Jeanette like, what are you doing back here? Uh, hero things. Well, we're leaving. Uh, cool. Hi, I'm cool. Chadley. Uh, hi. Yeah, that's, that's Chadley. He's he's cool. Now, uh, how many enforcers or guards or whatever are around us right well, now? Well, there's one active enforcer in here. Okay. Uh, and then you hear behind you, there's like six or seven guards running towards you okay so and I francis mercury going... shouting stop them I want to okay do so uh, what i'm gonna do i uh i'm gonna spend one of my burn oh, and burn. uh what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna like you know while running i'm just gonna like uh basically just stomp the ground and cause this huge ass tremor Okay. And this is worship. You put out a tremendous display of your might. Spend one burn to all an audience into silence, respect, and attention when new one leaves your powers. 
So I'm Ooh. probably gonna have to roll for that. So let's yeah, see. Yeah, give, give me that. Give me that good shit. That freak. Come on, come on, you little freak. Yeah, give me some of those. This. Even though I get a minus two to everything right now. Yeah, cause you're pretty fucked up. Oh shit. Oh yes. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Good roll. All right. Well, yeah. um, on a hit, you do it. Yeah, yeah. Tell us what okay, this looks so, like. Okay. So okay. So yeah, I just uh, basically I caused a fissure in the floor. Like just both sides around me crack the floor maybe uh sh some of the wall even like just nah -uh. we're leaving now can i do something uh yes absolutely okay so after the wall is cracked i want to summon and we established that i can control crabs last episode i want to summon a <laughs> bunch of crabs and lobsters to crabs. filter through and create crab wall uh, yeah. Well, that sounds like you want to unleash your powers. I do want to unleash my powers. Well, this is super. Yeah, that's right. You, you guys hear the soft, like, thumping of crab rave? <laughs> um, I think it works best if... Oh, also, can I unmark guilty? Unmark guilty? Yeah, can I unmark guilty? No, you, you cannot. Ask. Why? I made a sacrifice. I got myself oh, arrested. Oh, it's true. I suppose you did. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay. Um, Thank you. Mark um, condition. Uh, or how the effect is... I think it would make sense for this to be unstable or temporary. Crabs are not actually bugs. This is something she isn't familiar yeah, with so doing. You she do more of her time with rats. You, you do and the create... beaver. And the beaver. Ooh. <laughs> There's no uh, yeah. rats. They're out of their element. Obviously, it would make sense for it to be unstable or temporary. So you, uh, you do you you summon these crabs, mm -hmm. and you're on an island, right? Yeah, a little island. You're surrounded by the ocean. So, all, like the, so what happens is like oh no, these, it's pubic lice. That's right, it's pubic lice. Uh, no, um, Ew. like like crawling out from like. Uh, like coming down like this, this, this tunnel, this elevator shaft. Mm -hmm. Like you hear the skittering of legs and like falling of crabs. They're like falling, falling down to the shaft, and they're, you know, they're they're crunching, and it's it's pretty it's pretty insane. There's so many crabs, and like the crabs just go a, a bit bit crazy, and they start like swarming. Everybody. Mm. Um, I should have thought this through. <laughs> and like oh. you start, you guys start getting pinched by crabs. What the and, fuck? And, and Pocket's like, what? What the fuck, crabs? This is new. It's like she, she's like she's like fuck. Uh, uh, she's going to try to unleash her powers. Oh no, thank you, Mister Crab. Yeah, Crab's like, I pee. Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Uh, she's like, fuck. And you see her, like, try to, like, like open up a portal. It's like, I can't for some reason. God damn it. Can I control them away from her? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you probably can. Crab control. Yeah. Crab's like, and the crabs just go to you and start pinching you. That's fine. Yeah. This is and how I like, the bosh. And she, she looks at you, she's like, thanks, uh, Shit. Um. Yeah. Oh, she, she. Oh, she. She unbuckles you. Un. Un. Uh, she unbuckles me. Yeah. She, she unshackles. Unrestrains. You. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, she starts and, getting you out of your costume. So much. That's right. And, and and she she looks at Chadley. Uh, what what can you do? Can you do anything? Um. I, yeah. It's kind of all hands on deck now. It's yeah. Kinda, and like really okay, have... you can't. Any superpowers? So what the fuck are you doing That's here? Right. Well, uh, that, hang on tight, I guess. That's a good question. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe because... I, I was trying to find the answer to that question from um, a nice guard named uh, Rodney earlier. Oh, just like uh, his uncle. He doesn't know, so. Okay. Um, we need to get out of here. Uh, yeah, the yeah. enforcer is starting to. Uh, barrel towards you oh bad news bad news bears okay 
And there's like six to seven guards. And this would be so much easier okay, if I could uh, just teleport. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. Um, I can try that again. Can you? Yeah, everybody grab on. Okay, uh, to the Mark of Doom track. Ow. <laughs> and. Let's see. Ch Chadley gets real close. Would that yeah, be we all, a. We all uh... you for different reasons. Okay, would that be just to unleash my powers or. Really engaging? Or. Hmm. Uh. To teleport this would out of here? Unleash your yeah. powers? Okay. And I can't use it. You can also telekinetically throw us out of the hole. <laughs> hey! Okay, I kind of did it. Okay. I kind of did it. We okay. are in combat. Not for long. Hey. <laughs> uh, that, that was giving you the a thought. Yeah? Uh, let's see. What's your thought? No, I'm looking. Don't look at me. Are you looking up right. something? Uh, let's I'm see. looking at the team, baby. Oh, the team. Oh, yeah, we do have some kind of team. Team, mm -hmm. team moves, team pool. Team uh, mechanics. We yes. We've entered a battle against the dangerous foe as a team. I think oh. we have. So we have two teams in the pool. Okay. We, don't, we um, never designated a leader. We do have the same purpose. So we have three. Okay, so I know how this is going to go. Okay, so uh, we're going to teleport. You know what? I'm going to teleport us to the treehouse. Mm. Okay, and on a uh, seven and nine, I'm going to, like, Carmen's nose is bleeding. I'm going to pass out. Oh, God. Because oh, I chose marker condition, so I'm out of the scene for now. Um, <laughs> I know where we are. Pick them up. Nope. Okay, I know where we are. Um, We're at, we're at their house. I'm gonna go get their dad. You two stay here. Uh, keep an eye on them. Make sure they stay breathing. Tilt them on their side in case they throw up. But Pockets is like, what? They can do that? They can throw up in their sleep. Yeah, I do it all the no, time. No, I mean like, w w they can teleport. Oh, yeah, I'm oh assuming God, that's how they got back to you. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, so we, um... uh, Shadow Warden and I were out in the water, and then they were gone. So I'm assuming that's what happened. There's a puff of black smoke. Again, Pockets I gotta be right like... back. I don't know what this is. Um, so I'm gonna go get their dad. And uh -oh. you gotta be super normal about this. <laughs> Act natural. Act natural? Um. Are we in, like, yeah. the, the bedroom? Where are we? In the treehouse. We're, tree tree we're in a treehouse in the backyard. There's, like, there... some posters and, like, a, some cheap, like, a, like, an old futon and a sewing project Jeanette was working like on Like an before. old TV from like the 90s with like a Nintendo hooked up to it. Like, Is there yeah. like a blanket or pillow or both? I mean, there's a blanket and a cushion on the futon probably. All right. But... I'll, I'll, I'll use the, the cushion this thing is your head old. and put the blanket right. over you. Aww. And then I go down the ladder and slide down five and then side. smother them with the pillow. That's probably your rope you could slide on if you wanted. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Just because it'd be cool. Room. Yeah. Actually, they're wearing gloves. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> I I bang on the back door. Uh yeah. Well, at the same time, your phone is like buzzing. Oh shit! I ignore it. I'm banging on the back door. <laughs> oh. Simon's not. <laughs> Um, oh, that's a joke. Only it's only funny to me. Um, go uh, the in. door opens. Uh, what? 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 Jeanette? What? Oh, Carmen's back. They're in the treehouse when they're unconscious. Are you... Oh, okay. Our, uh, Norman just runs, and Desert does as well. They they climb you... up and they see two people they've never seen before. Norman's be like, who so are you? Normal. Please be so normal about this. Please be so normal about this. Uh, okay, we'll address these two in a minute. Uh, Norman looks at Carmen. Uh, okay, um, Car uh, she's like slightly slapping your 
your cheek. Carmen. Carmen. Oh, shit. Uh, Carmen. Uh, okay, what is this? What is it? We <laughs> they teleported us out of there and then he just passes out. What is that? Uh Desert. This... She uh Septon. Carmen has overextended themselves. Ash. Oh, Mm. They they they've done too much. Me, me okay. So how do we how do we fix it? You wait. Carmen's gonna be fine. Are you sure? But yes, uh, we've all we've all been there. You want me to go down to the store and get them some Gatorade? Oh, buddy, you cannot go to the store. Norman looks at you. It's like, the, who are these those two? guys? Are gonna be on the hunt for us. There's a reason I haven't even taken all this shit off yet. Um, so these are two people. This is pockets. Say hi to pockets. Um, uh, these are hey pockets. Nice to us. meet you. Pockets Thank you, Chadley. Looks at Deseret and like squints. This is Deseret Knight Norman Knight's uh, wife. Wife. This is the comment they made. That fuck are you? Uh, we're still married. Technically. Hi, I'm Chadley. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Chadley, Norman's what's your like, deal? Yeah, what, Ch what? He's like, he looks at Chadley, and he's like looking the way Chadley is like dressed. He's just like, huh? Um, okay, whatever. Kids, whatever. You kids are weird. Um, okay. Well, um, uh, I. My phone won't stop ringing. I'm gonna go down again. Please, 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 Norman, please keep me updated. I'll drop by in the morning. Um, look, I'll I drop by in the morning. I, I don't. Will block here. I don't. I don't know if you. I don't know if it's gonna be safe here. Do you want to bring them back to mine? Then we could. I don't think it's safe in any of your houses. Uh -oh. Then this is as safe as anywhere else. Um, I'm going to go answer this call. Because it's blowing up my hip and it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, look, we'll figure something out. But... Uh... Pockets, okay. Chadley. You two got away home. I'm acting super chill right now. I'm really not. I feel like uh, I'm going to puke, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Norman just looks at Chadley and he's just like, "Um, yeah, where, where do you live? I don't. So, I don't actually have a place to stay. Come with me then. What do you okay. Wait, wait. Are you not from? Are you? Uh, we will figure it out in the morning. I have zero. I have negative calories in my body right now. We'll figure it out in the morning. Oh, okay. Look, we'll, we'll figure it look, out. We'll reconvene tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, we can loop Shadow Warden back in because he wasn't picking up my goddamn phone calls. Whatever. Um, That's whatever. Everything's well, fine. Can you tell the only condition she has marked left is angry? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to answer the call now. Goodbye. Uh, Chadley, you're going to come home with me, okay? Uh, sure. It's fine. Cool. With any uh, luck, this is my mom and she can come pick us up. Yeah, it is definitely your mom. Cool. Uh, no, hey, mom. It's just like, Jeanette, what the hell? I am at Carmen's and things. What, so five, you would just went to Carmen's and you would you did all of that dramatic shit? Mom, um, I'm. I can. Um, there's a lot that you don't know. I'm on my way home, and I'll bring a friend. I'm, I'm yes, a friend. Uh, you he, are. He, you um, are on your way. You're not bringing a friend. He doesn't have a place to stay, Mom. And I figured, um, I don't know, there's the trundle in my room, there's... 
He um, can sleep shed? on the couch. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, I can find another place to stay if that's it's, no, if it's, it's fine. Trouble. There's there's plenty of room. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go throw up now. Bye. Hangs up. <laughs> um. And then you should realizes probably she has to go to the doctor about all that throwing up you're doing. It's fine. It's just I get really nervous and overwhelmed, and that's that's the response. So what we're gonna do is I'm Chad gonna, is gonna um, be like, oh, it's all right, it's okay, and give Jeanette a hug. God. Um. What does Chadley think about all of this? Who fucking knows, man? He doesn't know what's going on. He, he's he been so confused for so long that that's just kind of his state of being right now. Yeah. And he's just kind of going with Poor the flow. <laughs> so. Um wash my face, change out of the yeah. costume, put on some of Carmen's clothes, because again, I don't have mine. That's right. So, Car Chadley's going home with Jeanette. Carmen yes. is snoozing. Mm -hmm. Pockets yeah. is like, I gotta go check on my, my my siblings. Do you need to call them? Uh, no, I I, I, I uh, no, I, I'll, I'll be fine. Are you okay? Uh, she's like, yeah, I, I, I'm fine. Jeanette, right? Yeah. It's me, uh, Jeanette Gemini, normal high school photojournalist. I've seem... been here the whole time. You don't seem that normal to me. Hey, does anybody know where that Jawbone person went? They're supposed to... Um, Jawbone supposed to went back to the them. sewers. Uh -huh. Um. Wait, she... They live in a sewer. Yeah, they live in the sewer. Um, I so did, I was supposed to go to their house. Oh no, they're they're uh, you're you're coming with me. Sorry. Oh okay, they okay they they must not have had the space. That's fine. That's fine. No, yeah, that. they they live with two turtles, so not a lot of space. Uh, Pockets looks at you, Jeanette, and is just like. And it looks at Chadley, looks to you. Really? We're flying. Um, and she's just like, uh, she's like, I, you, I'm gonna give you my number. Hey, I'm Chadley. By Forward. the way, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chadley. Come nice on. to meet you too, Chadley. Uh, yeah, I think it's best that we have each other's numbers because we're in pretty crazy shit right now yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah um i'm gonna check twitter oh, I mean, what's honker. that honker I'm oh honker but twitter is an inside the joke that carmen and i have oh just... uh, that's a that's a uh, that's a silly what's, name twitter what's honker what honkers what's your deal <laughs> um sorry i just don't I didn't know what it was, so... No, that's a, hey, listen, uh, I'm that's okay, worked I'll up be... right now. I'm really worked up right now. My mom is going to kill me. Ah, I'm going to go home. You're coming with me, Kathy. Um, do you need to ask your mom if I can stay with you? No, she already knows. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well. Chadley, I'm Jawbone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just um very you had you had me going of the identity and she like swipes there's like a bit of grease paint left by their ear and they swipe it. Um my mom can't know about that. Nobody can know about that outside of, outside of this Absolutely. circle of people, okay? Absolutely. We're good. It's good. So, um, now that we've kind of like come to a uh, kind of a a natural breaking point, 
I'm going to just say that is where we're going to end it for tonight. Ah. That's right. Cool. <laughs> so I wake up in two weeks. That's right. <laughs> That's, yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh. I mean... Hey, but I'll have my conditions cleared when I do wake up. So we're fine. It's true. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Uh, so yes, we're gonna be ending for tonight, uh, and tomorrow is there's nothing because somebody's going to see wrestling. We could do yep, something wrestling. though. We could do something. We'll 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 keep that. We'll keep. We'll discuss. We will discuss. Uh, I don't know. Tomorrow what? would be the night that I run my game, but we're not doing that. Yeah, I had to ruin it. It's yeah, me. Yeah, slime That's times. I have, to, cause I have to spoil the sport. Yeah, yeah no, it's wrestling. Getting, hitting the ropes, you know. Hit people. No, I'm not. Drivers. I'm gonna sit on. My, I'm gonna sit on my ass and talk shit. That's what I'm doing. You're gonna have a lot of fun, and <laughs> I am. we're not gonna fault you for going to have fun. I'm taking yeah. my assistant foreman and his kids I, to their first I do not too, accept so. that you don't want to spend every waking minute with us. I do, uh, but I can't be everywhere at once. My mouth feels fine now. Mm. Well, guys, uh, then that means uh, what's on Monday? Is there Dungenerates? Should be. Yeah, so we should be having Dungenerates uh, on Monday. Or obviously, Tuesday is cool Tuesday. Listen, I'm on a two week break from school. Are we going right to do now, session so on kind of, uh, chat? Or. Hmm. Hmm. Are we gonna do session on chat or off? Uh, we'll do it off. Okay, just making sure. That's all. Um, but uh, yeah, cause um, so, uh, and then cool Tuesday, and then of course Friday is uh Corinne's game. Hopefully they'll be back this time. Uh, oh, we're not back last week. Yeah, no, they they took a they took a little hiatus. They <coughs> had some stuff come up. Um. And then, yeah, um, you know, don't forget to go check out Demil's Wondrous Work, uh, and uh, you'll get to see some really great maps, some really cool maps. Oh. Oh. You know the, uh, the good part about Jared being back, the best part? What's that? I love Jared. He's, he's a good buddy, but also he gets to do the plug now. <laughs> oh, tell us all about it, Jared. What are you plugging? Yo, yo, yo. So listen up, everybody. There's this thing that we do. Um, it's, it's a little podcast, you know, it's just a fun little game that we play. Um, it's just, uh, you know, a couple kids, uh, a couple bikes, uh, the kids are on the bikes and there's fun. There's dice rolling. Um, if you want to listen to me, uh, basically never fucking actually succeed at anything. <laughs> Go for it. Listen, listen in. If you want to, Arby shows up like halfway through. Yeah, and then I kiss a girl in a puddle of blood. That's actually not true, so it's not a spoiler. Uh, but yeah, if you if that interests you, check out Darkened States. Wherever you get podcasts, wherever Plus podcasts are sold. That's right. Time. And if you like podcasts and you like reroll, uh, also our um. Our uh, uh, reroll uh, admin, uh, Corinne, has another podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, where they read smutty books and discuss them called Wham Bam Thank You, Ma'am. Uh, with uh, Psyche Siren and uh, Andy from the Psyche Paths. Uh, so go check that out. They have a Discord. It gets, it, it, it's, it's just a horny place. <laughs> I muted it. Uh, yeah, it's just too horny for everybody. So, um, I yeah. don't believe in horniness. I don't that's believe right. in horniness. I have that's a Bible. Right. Uh, that's right. We we the Bible's super horny. No, it's not. Um, no, it's not. Maybe Closet it Jesus and yes, get... by Kylo Ren will come for you all. The horniest part is when he's washing his friend's feet. Uh, yeah, that's you know that's pretty horny, Jesus. There's nothing more intimate. Oh uh, yeah, she's like, yeah, let me cleanse them feet for you. <laughs> um, oh, I never read my Twitter post. Oh uh, well, well, the honker. Best one, 
honker. Yeah, honker. Yeah, we honk. Like honker pouse. What? I didn't hear what you said. Well, I didn't we hear honk what you in said. this universe. Oh, great. Well, I still never read it, so I'll do that. Oh, don't worry. I, I, I didn't forget about it. Cool. I'm looking at uh, it right now. It still has the part where I crossed out the actual sentence and wrote Cody is the summer side. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I am. I am that. So, uh, yes. we are gonna go ahead and end for the night, fellas. So, thank you very much for joining. And um, you know, don't don't be a stranger. Please come back. Or don't. Okay. I'm not your dad. Or yeah, or don't. actually, you know what? We hate you. Goodbye. Oh no, I, I love am. you. I love you very much. All right. Oh, well, God. we'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.